I think that it depends on. So I think that you have to do you have to do several several different levels, and so the reason you have to do that is not necessarily so that you can get better historical data, or better analysis of historical data. But the truth is, you have different levels of goals. So if you have different levels of goals, why wouldn't you have different levels of tracking them? Okay, so obviously, I'm not going to sit and look at an annual KPI all year from last year. But at the end of the year, I'm going to look at the last year and compare it to last year. But I might want to look at last year this month, this month, right? And so I, I don't think that there's any hard and clear and fast answer to it should always be a rolling 12 or it should always be 30 days or it should always be last 60 last year, last 60 this year, next 60 this year. I think that it's different based on what goal you're evaluating. To value the progress, you have to be looking at all different types of markers. So you do have your daily markers, how are you doing day to day, which will then help you progress week to week, which helps you progress month to month, year to year. Um, but you can't ever be looking too narrow and not big enough to know where you need to go or where you've been. So moderate, having KPIs and things like that to make it simple so that you don't have to think through where were we last year, you just know. And then you can discuss those numbers and brainstorm, where do we need to go now? Or why are we not moving? Or what's happening in the market? Um, so I actually think you need multiple markers to be able to efficiently manage. I think for us, we're always looking at a rolling 30. Meaning I don't look at last month, I'm looking at the last 30 days all the time, right? That allows me to adapt, it allows me to make adjustments on the fly very, very quickly, and I can make informed business decisions based on real information. Uh, I, I think that's the benefit it brings, where when you don't have those practices in place and you're looking month, even if you're just looking month to month, you're still 30 days behind. In, in making your adjustments, right? So it's like literally pulling up to a red light and looking at the red light and making your decision to go forward based upon what the light was 30 days ago. It makes no sense. So I, I think it, it gives us a, a very, very unique competitive.